Good evening and welcome back to Football Manager 2024. It is episode two, and we have made a lot of progress in the time that I've uh, I've been off camera. Let's say I didn't want to record like six episodes pre-season. Um, I'm only gonna do two, maybe three, but probably two. Uh, and the reason for that is is that I've actually scheduled an unholy amount of friendlies an unholy amount um way too many friendlies well not too many but there is a point to these friendlies so we've played four games now the last game that was on camera we won since then i've un been unable to get a win um i lost four nil to cranfield united who are a level 10 team so i can't really complain four nil is probably okay and um, if we look at the times of that game um, I'm, I'm fairly certain I tried a different tactic going in and then at half time it wasn't really working so we kind of dropped back we swapped back to a similar tactic and you can see that I think that's how we ended the game um, I'm not quite sure not quite sure on that one um, if you look at the xgs it actually wasn't that far apart 1.2 to 1.4 um, we played a much better second half um, which was which was good, which was, it was good. It was a good kind of comeback, let's say. Then in the next game, it was 4-2 again. Um, a, not a great, 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 great uh, answer to it, but that's the 200 level league. Um, if we look at Cranfield, they're on a 256 level league and we managed to get a decent performance in and lose 4-2. Like, it's not great that we were losing. It was 1-0 until half time, and then I did make a change and it didn't really work. It kind of backfired. Um, and then in the next game against the Blandford United Reserves, we were we were winning. 2-0. Sorry, 1-0, 1-0, 2-1, really early on. Like really, really early on. And um Blandford were only able to pull it back in the last kind of few minutes one last attack you can see again the x is really similar really similar on the shots um less possession but that's kind of to be expected at the minute because we are playing a cautious game from the get-go and this is kind of the the way we're playing just as we go through the friendlies i'm trying to figure out what's good for the team we've got a decent lineup and you can see we've got a different goalie because i've made lots of changes to the squad lots and lots of changes uh, to the squad and we've still got some players on on trial that are looking to join the squad but we've got an, we've got a huge squad right now um it's absolutely massive and if i'm looking at everyone like the star players there's quite a few people who want to be star players who i haven't even really given a chance yet um so there will be more to do with more to do with that kind of stuff for example i need to go through a lot of my players and uh, compare them to the other the other players that we're currently using in our in our positions for example we're playing Carney and Kasongo as I think is it Kasongo I think it's Kasongo um yeah it is Kasongo Carney and Kasongo are our current center backs if I look at the abilities of Alex Jones who was a player we've just brought in we look at Alex Jones profile he was from Basildon Town Reserves and we've brought him in for this season um, there's Basildon Town and there's Basildon Town Reserves. Uh, we've grabbed him in to play for us because he's got some good stats, good jumping reach, good fitness, uh, decent strength at seven. It's not great. I'm kind of learning where stuff is on on that kind of stuff, but I haven't have a, I haven't given him a chance to have a game yet. So we're gonna we're gonna chuck him in and see how how he how he fares in this next game coming up here. Um, there's also the new goalie, like I say, Bennett, who I believe is a, just a direct better goalie in a lot of ways. Um, there's only one, which is distribution where he's not quite as good. Everything else is either the same or Bennett is better. So Bennett is an upgrade. Again, uh, another player that we've taken from Runwell, you'll notice that these, uh, t these teams are all kind of like near me. I'm looking at the teams around me and looking at the specific players that are going to improve my my um my club and the next game the reason i'm recording this game is because we're playing emerson and upminster in a friendly that i arranged if i show you the schedule i've, I've arranged friendlies throughout the year 
against loads of different teams, um, all different kinds of teams. We've got friendlies against teams that are in the league, such as this Take League game. I think they're in our league. Yeah, they are. So there's the league game and there's a friendly. Um, lots of league games in September and October. So there's actually no friendlies in there. So we'll have a good run of league games. And then it's more or less going to go friendly, league game, friendly, league game, double friendly, league games, like double league game in there, uh, three friendlies in a row, and then two league games to finish it off. And um, the reason we're playing this game is because I know this team are in the league with us. You can see our, our third league game is against Emerson and Upminster. And I think this will be a good opportunity to see where we stand in, in, a, tea, in, a, in a game against the team in our league. You know, so trying to, trying to go, go at this methodically as best I can. I haven't quite decided who my first 11 are just yet. Um, yeah, I do want to win this game if, I, if, if we can. We want to put in a good performance. I want to see how we start with the cautious mentality. And um, if I take a look at the instructions as well, I've told the team to play down the left and take shots, um, as well as keep. we've gone very wide because I want to try and use the wide players if I can. Um, hit on the counter as often as possible. And we're kind of playing a low block to, to try and really stop their attacks dead as soon as they can. Uh, we've started really well here. 10 minutes, we've had two shots. They've had no shots just yet. No, now they've had two. Okay. That'll be a goal kick. We've, that means we've put in another shot. And there's the goal. There's the goal we were looking for. So, sorry, I should also explain. Uh, because there's so many friendlies, I'm not watching the highlights just now. I've actually got it on commentary and then I replay the games. And I've been keeping track of different stuff like shot maps, um, passing maps, average player positions, stuff like that. Um, just so I can see how we're playing. Archer takes a really good shot there from, from the right hand side of the box to the far left corner. Really, really good shot. And we've, we've had a good spread of the, the goals for us. Um, why is Bennett not really feeling happy? What's going on there? Let's give him a shout. Try and uh, try and focus him up a little bit, just because uh, I don't. I'm not a fan of him saying him with that little green face. That's not good. Uh, another pause might be necessary here to take a look at the stats as we stand. There's the passing map. I actually want to move that across. Passing map again. We are looking like we're playing down the left hand side a lot more, which is what I want. I do want us focusing on the left hand side because that's where we've got our pacey man in Michael Owusu, who uh, who can do some good stuff. I would I would say uh, another visualizer I've been using. Sorry, not that visualizer, although that is helpful because it shows the action games and the the, the sides of the attack we're going for. Um, this this one quite helpful as well. Kind of seeing everything, the match ratings it is the same as down here, but I kind of like having it in a different way like that, where you can change it up a little bit. Like aggressive, that's an interesting one. I don't really want you aggressive. I want you to just be okay, just chilling out a little bit. <laughs> um, and the last one is also the shot map. I want to see where we're shooting from. There's a lot of shots outside the box at the minute, which isn't like I'm not so mad about it i don't actually mind that we hit the woodwork there you can see that blue one hit the woodwork um shots from different players that's an off target shot that's a shot that led to a goal and a shot that was saved that actually had a higher xg so we're playing the better the better football right now um than emerson they've had another shot there one minute of added time and that should be should be full time in a second not full time, sorry, half time. It is indeed. We had another shot, and our XG is way higher than Amazon. Way, way, way higher. Um, and that's with less possession and less corners as well, but just generating chances on the counter. And I'd like us to just keep that going. We're probably going to go till about 60 minutes before I think of any changing things up. Because so I do, this is trying to figure out my first team. We're 1 0 up. The friendlies don't really matter, of course. Um, but it is just a good idea for me to... Ah, okay. So we've hit 55 minutes. Um, possession is still quite low. 
XG is still pretty good in our favor. It's probably a good time to make some changes, especially with Da Costa on a yellow card. So let's bring Da Costa out for Newton. Harrison Moore is also a new signing that we've brought in. Um, Alex Jones is as well. Um, who else is there that's a new signing? Balogun is a new signing. So is Prokes. Um, yes, I think there is a few. There is a few. Let's let's do a let's do a little bit of a change here. Anyone who needs a bit of a change, so Prokes can come in. Um, anyone? Yeah, Wusu can go off just because that fitness is also quite important here. Can't bring yourself on, so let's do that and then that. And then we can bring yourself on. Let's swap the goalies as well. Actually, no, let's not swap the goalies because I want to see if Bennett can keep a clean sheet for the whole the whole game. Um Robert comes on for Archer, Balogun can come on for Gonzalez. And that just means Harrison Moore, new signing. I think this is actually his first game, even if it is a friendly, is going to get a chance to play the whole game. Um let's hit that play button. All the changes will now come in. And there we go. The whole team has been been swapped over. Moore is the only one who's going to play the whole game. And let's keep it going. Just watching the shots here. It's ticking up quite nicely. Yeah, up to 11 shots. The XG is still pushing up. And I'm hoping really to just keep a clean sheet. More than anything. That would be quite good. It would be quite good if we could just keep a clean sheet. We're still kind of losing the possession battle. So what I'm going to do... Oh, there we go. That's the second goal. Balogun's put one in. A great ball over the top. That's got to be squared. And it is. Oh, no. Squared. Roberts to Roberts. There we go. Um, Have we actually got two Roberts in the team right now? Yeah, we've got Mickey and Matthew Roberts. We've got both of them in the team. Both uh, wingers. Both sides of the wing. And Balogun just taps it in. To make it 2-0. And I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy. What we're going to do for the last five minutes is just sit on very defensive. Just absolutely push all our men behind the ball. No need to worry about it. And look at that. We're going to take the win. Brilliant stuff. So, apparently, when I record the games, I can win them. When I don't record the games, <laughs> um, I get absolutely smacked up. But in that game, you can see we were dominant pretty much the whole way through. Um, no goals conceded. Bennett keeps a clean sheet with a really nice performance, 7.5. Um, let's take a look at the player stats. Everyone's rating looks pretty good. No one below a 6. Point, 6, .6 6 is the lowest for Hannah, who obviously went off at half time. Everyone else looking good. The only player who didn't come on was Man, of course. Just seeing if, seeing if. Bennett could keep a keep a clean sheet and did indeed. So yeah, really good stuff. Balogun gets a goal on after coming off the bench. Archer got a goal as well. A really good finish as well. So that's a great game. And very encouraging. Yeah, really, really happy. The only player who's not going to react positively is Man. Um, because <laughs> obviously didn't didn't actually get on. But that's really, really good to see. So a 2-0 win. Against the team that's going to be in our league. If we take a look at their schedule, um, how are they going? They are yet to oh, the three one alls in a row, and then we beat them. Okay, okay. So that does bode well. That I mean, you know, like we beat them in the in the friendly. Hopefully, we can we can take that kind of dominance into the league as well. There's a there's Mickey Roberts signing for the club. Brilliant stuff. Um, so Mickey Roberts was just on trial, but we've obviously now grabbed him full time into the club. You go. Um, the fans don't look very. <laughs> the fans aren't very happy ever when I <laughs> when I want to. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, cancel transfer when when I sign players because I'm trying to build a really strong squad as best I can in this lower league. Um. We've got a scout in as well. I should probably say that if I go to take a look at the staff. We've hired a scout. Flint Cockett is our scout. We're trying to hire a physio as well, but I can't at the moment just yet. It's really good, though, that we've got scout. That's awesome. Um, it's awesome. We finally got ourselves a scout. So if there are players that we aren't quite sure on their quality, 
we just uh, we just bring in the scout and see what we can do. Three more players who I'm just trying to bring to the club to really bolster the club. Um, I'm also trying to sign. Brilliant, McNally's in. A signing for Yeovil, that's okay. And all the other friendlies have now been played, that's okay as well. We're up to 186 subs, guys. That's one extra sub since I recorded the uh, the middle, no, the middle, the first video earlier on today, in the middle of the day. Um, the first episode training schedule. Well, we've got a friendly in not very long at all. So maybe before that rumble game, we'll go back to a physical. Let's do a physical. Yeah, I think some physical training is probably not a bad shout there. Overall, yeah. Okay, that overall training can be a tactical training. Because uh, I really want to try and get this familiarity all the way up. All the all the all the way up. Um tied off the last match. Yeah, that's that's fine. We're not gonna be telling you to do anything in the meantime. Yeah, I want to get these stats a little bit higher. That strength is a great stat for the Costa. Training rating 6.5, so is improving. The passing stat is what we're also focusing on, because it would be nice if our midfielders were a little bit more competent on the ball as well as spreading the play, passing it. We're telling the play to push up the left at the moment um, with the tactic. I also want to quickly go in and bring that block down to a low block. That's what we want to be playing. Um, playing up the left, shoot on sight. If we do get to a point where we're taking too many shots off target, I'll take the shoot on sight off and we'll swap it to the work the ball into the box and try and really generate a chance. But at the moment, I don't mind the more shots you take, the more likely you are going to score goals. That's just got to be an absolute fact. Obviously, if you're taking 10 shots, all of them from outside the box, and you take two shots from inside the box, yeah, then the stats are a little bit different, you would have to say. But the idea being is that we need to take as many shots as possible just to give us the best chance of scoring goals. That 2-0 was a very a brilliant game. We were the dominant side in the second half after we already had the lead our way. That's that's brilliant. Um, Ashford, there's signings all around of players that I had on loan or I did want on loan or stuff like that. And there's also another thing I should mention, guys, is that I've actually uh, downloaded or, you know, using the Steam Workshop, added the badges for all of the, well, basically all of the clubs. So now, like, even low league clubs such as Take Lee and and uh, Runwell and Holbridge, Collier Row, they've got their actual badges, which is really cool. Really, really cool. Whoever, I, I can't, I, I'm afraid I can't give direct credit because I don't know who it was, but I used the Steam Workshop and it was really cool. Like, I'm a big fan. Like, look at that, Raynham and Barkin Phoenix. That looks like an actual badge. You know, that looks like an actual badge. Um, not just a game generated badge. These are all the other other game, other signings that we're looking at. What I'm going to do is just quickly click all of these guys because I don't want the inbox to be incredibly long. There we go. It looks like they do delete after a little bit of time anyway, but um, maybe two weeks or so is the rule on that. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, is it? Oh, there we go. We've got Balag... No, Bardeo. Bardeo is, is, is joining the club. Brilliant stuff. And that's that's what I'm that's what I'm looking for, to be honest. I'm looking for Baldeo. I'm looking for more players that are going to really strengthen our team. So Baldeo in the club. The reason I signed Baldeo, where is he? There he is. Um, it's for these really good stats here. Look at these physical stats. Really, really good. Good pace, crazy good fitness. We could put him into the midfield. He should be able to last a whole game. Easy, easy as you like. And uh, provided we can train him on the stuff I want to train him on, should be able to uh, really build a squad. This first season, I'm hoping to get promoted. That would be a, that is the aim, especially if I can win games against teams of my level. Um, yeah, well, that that's great. We can change the frequency of that to probably every month. Um, I'm still looking for an. A M at the moment. Scout feedback should probably go to to our scout, shouldn't it? 
handling scout meetings. That should probably go to the scout, I've got to say. Um, just because what's the point of us having a scout if we're not going to, yeah, if we're not going to let him do his thing, not going to let him do his thing. Um, another thing I should probably mention is that, of course, you can loan players. Um, but I'm so low down on the pyramid, I'm not really worried about it so much. Um, I want to have players that are my own so that I can try and develop them and learn how they work and stuff like that. You know, just a little bit more, a little bit more personal if I if I have the players myself. Um, Jordan Newton, wanted by 33 clubs. Um, I don't think, like, me actually doing this is going to, going to, Help, like make them stay but i do want them to stay like wow wanted by lots of clubs uh summer skill i don't really want to lose players for no reason but they was actually injured for a bit that's not great six to twelve get days but won't be able to won't be able to play in this next game against woodner's borough or woodens borough not sure how you say that i'm gonna say I'm gonna say woodner's borough um but yeah, we're going to run out again. We're going to do another friendly um, just so you guys can see uh, another game for our team. We're going to we're going to tweak the, the players playing a little bit. But I am I am confident that we're already getting a good idea of who the first team is, who the first team's going to be. Um, I know for a fact some of them already. Uh, OK, so Jess Bonner has gone to British Airways instead. That's a. <laughs> That's really cool. Like that's something I really like about the um the lower leagues. Like you really don't know what you're gonna get. Um. Okay. Here we go. There's the the physio, and here is my new. Oh no, sorry. They're both physio. I sent out. Uh, yeah, I sent out to go for two physios. Um. I have made an offer to an assistant manager as well. I've said I want an assistant manager. Um. Just so I can delegate a few more things. Uh, for example, the squad is so big right now that a lot of the youngsters probably aren't really going to get a look in. Um, so it's a good idea to it's a good idea to put them into the under 18s and try and get them playing games elsewhere, you know? Uh, Marriott deal falls through because we yeah, that's fine. Uh, we don't need we don't need two two physios then if that's fine. I, I just like covering my tracks and having more than one um offer on the table, let's say. Um, filters, yeah, that's fine. I don't need too much there, but there we go. So we've got ourselves a physio, which is awesome. Uh, we look at the um, what are the responsibilities. There should be more. Um, there should be more stuff. Set pieces, yeah. That's actually something else I need to have a look at. I need to have a look at set pieces. Um, and I need to pick my 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 free kick takers and stuff like that. So let's take a look at penalties. At the minute, it's just Luis Gonzalez. We look at the best penalty taker. It's Maxwell Balogun. Um, it's actually Maxwell Balogun for all of them. So he should definitely be taking the penalties if above above Gonzalez for now. Jack Smith as well. Really good finishing, but not great on the penalties. Yeah, Gonzalez at second is okay, and then Summer Skill can be his third choice. Um, change taker if someone's missed, and if someone's on a hat trick, I will also allow them to take the penalties as well. Right now, right. The next task for me, I've got set pieces, and I've also got player comparisons to do. These will be two more things that I do off camera. Um, and then I separate my squads out so that I've got an under 21s, I've got an under 18s, and I kind of know who is who for me. Let's go back to general info. Got star players, future prospects as well. So if we look at the future prospects, you can kind of see what I mean here. Like we've got a lot of players who I don't know how often they're going to get a run out. Um, but this next game. Against Woodnersboro, we are going to change things up. We're going to bring in a different uh, team. Here we go, fitness test. That's very cool. That's very cool. Okay, so these are the injuries we're currently currently looking at. It looks like we've only got two injuries. Summer skill is one of them. 
some way short of fitness and Bordeaux as well. Let's go into the team selection because that's what we need to be doing. Let's give Balogun his start after scoring in that last game. It's not a bad idea. Um, looks like deep lying is going to be his favorite position and it's going to be on support as well. That's fine. Um, uh, I should I should say role, not position, actually. Um, okay, who else is going to get a look in? We need to give some other players a chance. Players who I haven't seen before. Um, it's actually not helpful. Let's kind of... Do I need that? I don't need that role ability. Um, Column. I just said, oh, well, that's probably a good one to have. And apps, goals. Wow, that average rating is huge. Does not need to be that big at all. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, that's fine. Put in by position, that's fine. Okay, so. Some players, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Let's just put players in that haven't got anything right now, just so I can kind of do a little bit of organizing here. Because I've got so many players now. It's, it's really good. It's, the whole idea is that I've got lots of players who are going to get their chance. Um, Is Bennett, do he have any preferred no he just wants to be a regular goalie that's good that's okay uh kept a clean sheet last game so can't really can't really argue with that a lot of these players aren't they're not that versatile but they are certainly trying we've got mccormack starting at right back let's give taff a chance to start there um because he hasn't really had much of a chance yet kasongo's played a good amount uh corredo's played a good amount jones has not really had that much of a chance so we'll swap out carney for thompson and give thompson a run out as well um uh, mickey roberts who's just joined properly um Holloway hasn't had a chance. Oh no, Wusu's my go-to. I need to kind of keep that as the go-to right now. I want to give Joe Jones a go though, so we'll bring him as a sub. Um, we've got a lot of attacking midfielders that will probably have to train, move them about to different positions if possible. Let's give. Let's give Prokesh a start as well. Gonzalez can potentially come on. Hopefully clicking that for next game will just be will be good. Anna is gonna take the armband. That's all right. I haven't actually chosen a full time captain because again I still don't know. Still don't know my full full full. Appeared unsure. Well you can do it. We need to dominate. I know you're giving there give me a reason to select you. Yes. Show me you deserve a place in this team. Okay, I need two by well, Bennett just seems really aggressive at all times here. That aggression is 19, yeah. Um, hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. It could. We're playing such a kind of defensive lineup here, but the the idea being is that I want it to be as difficult as possible for the opposition to get a score. So we're gonna start on the cautious. And again, look at that, we're taking shots early. Um, so are the opposition. That's a booking for Hannah. That's an early booking. All right. Well, that's not a great start. And Woodensboro having uh, another shot there. Another shot in, again. Goes behind for a corner. We're having shots. Our shots are all coming on target, which I, I do like. I like that we're taking more shots. And there's the first goal. Okay, Prokesh on the ball, running up the right-hand side. What is he going to do with it? Passes it back to Archer. Archer again 
from the right hand side, shoots it to the left hand side. Another another goal for Archer. Archer is really kind of showing me I want to be starting when these leagues. Ah, dang it, we've conceded straight away. Um, I actually do want to watch that. It's from a corner. Okay, it's just straight up a good header. So we should try and defend a little bit stronger, which we will do so when I've built my set piece plans. Um, two minutes of added time. That'll be half time. I like the fact that our shots are, are on target. Keep going, basically. Keep going. I like that most of our shots are on target here. It's really going to help us. Um, if I go, we go defensive again. And quickly one check I would like to do, actually. Um, which I can't, I don't actually think I can do right now. I'll have to do it at the end of the game. But we've gone defensive just because, again, like we're really losing out on the possession battle here. But I want us to be taking more shots. And we are taking a good amount of shots. There's another two gone in in the last few seconds. And let's make some changes. Let's make some subs. Anyone who's having a good game um, will we'll actually keep on. So what I'm going to do is quickly click that across. Um, Bennett's not keeping a clean sheet. So let's give Man a go. Just, you know, why not? Thompson can come off for, and Carney can come back on. Oh, okay. I can't actually bring on another. So let's go for, okay, Hannah can come off. Uh, Meek is an attacker, clearly. I'm. Bit silly for doing that. Newton comes on. Mickey Roberts will come on on the left hand side. Matthew Roberts on the right hand side. Summer Skill come on for Prokesh. Gonzalez will come on for Balogun. Um, is there anyone who's not coming off? Um, yeah, kind of looks like the Costa is the only one not coming off right now. Oh, and Pip Half. Um, Yeah. Thompson on the right. I don't actually mind that. I don't actually mind that. We've got... It might be an idea, just even now, to tell... Yeah. Okay, we'll go tell... We'll tell Meek to start training as a centre mid. And probably Nethercott to start training as a bit more of a winger, maybe. Can play a bit of left wing. Additional focus on quickness as well, just to up that pace and acceleration. Uh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Let's confirm those subs. Get everyone swapped in and out. Um, more or less the whole squad, except the Costa. I can't actually. Can't actually do a swap with. How are we looking at the end of this game here? We're still taking shots. Still taking more shots. The XG is a bit lower, but that is... Uh... Again, we're taking more shots. Okay, fine. 14, we're dominating at the end here. We're taking loads of chances, but there we go. A, a draw. Okay. Um, I'm pleased with the progress. I am indeed pleased with the progress. I don't want any... I don't want any bad. Um, lost focus. Ah, oh, well, well, you didn't play a whole half, so you kind of it's kind of tough to judge that. Honors even. We had more shots from less possession again. Um, if we take a quick look at where Woodner's. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. They are. They're a level twelve. So again, they're two levels above us. In terms of the league, league the level, their league level that they're playing at, whereas we are, you know, we are the bottom level here. We really are. Take a look at the schedule. Our next game is against Raynham and Barking Phoenix, who are um, not in our league at all. Have we got any games scheduled soon for teams in our league? We've got Runwell Sports Reserves. They are in our league and Springfield as well and then i think that whole bridge are as well so that's pro that makes it that kind of makes it easy for me doesn't it um what i'll do is i'll play the random game off camera 
Um, I'll play the Run Well and Springfield games on camera, and then we'll play three games off camera, probably four, and go into the Collier Row game for the first game of the season, first league game of the season. Um, or, or yeah, no. No, yeah, that's what I'll do. So I'll play Run Well and Springfield on camera, and the other game, the other friendlies are all play off camera. We've had a bit, well, we've literally, we've played six, and every result is has happened twice so far. Which, it's not bad. We're not doing so bad so far. Lots of good changes. Lots of uh, progress around the club. And I'm quite happy with it. So there we go, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this episode two. Um, trying, to, trying to gauge where we stand. Where we are with the squad and stuff like that. Lots for me to do uh, before episode three comes around. But, yeah. I'll see you there, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I shall catch you next time.